This is Tita on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and have lifestyle conversations. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Olu Hi. Yes, that's me. What's up? Hi. Hi. How's it going? I'm glad you're getting used to the that's me thing. No, we're getting over it, actually. Mm. If, not, if, if not already, it's not over it. It's just... Let's just, let's just let you do what you want to do. Thank you very much, as you should. <laughs> yeah, we're not um, typical... <laughs> typical parents. No? Typical work. Mm. She, so, she understands. Mm. Mm. Inside joke. Typical work. Okay. If inside I... joke that I'm not inside. Inside mm. women's joke. Mm. Ah. Okay. Moving on to the story. So is, um, are you a woman? So we team. No. <laughs> ah, oh, man. We'll think about letting you know after the show. But for now. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the Pennsylvania Supreme Court agreed on Tuesday to hear an appeal of Bill Cosby's sexual assault conviction, and his representatives are extremely happy. In mm. a brief order, the court said it would consider arguments that the trial judge should not have allowed five women to testify about um, their own allegations against the comedian. The court will also determine whether the County District Attorney's Office violated an agreement not to prosecute Cosby and whether the judge should have allowed his deposition testimony in a civil suit to be presented to the jury. Cosby was convicted in April 2018 of sexually assaulting um, a lady at his at his home in 2004. He's serving a three to ten year sentence in state prison. Hmm. Uh. I like this. I like If this. I'm on his team, so I'll be excited for him. Mm. I like that he's getting, um, at least it's called a fair trial, because at the end of the day, he's been convicted. But this is to the court of appeal, right? And then we'll see what happens from there. And if they still find him guilty there, then it's beyond reasonable doubt that he mm. is definitely guilty. So this is just like a second chance. And I think everyone deserves a second chance, if you ask me. And besides, this man is old. It's not like if you can do the crime, yes, do the time. But he did it when he was younger. So when he was pushing for the house arrest thing, I was hoping he was going to get that, even though I, was, I wanted him to serve the time. But because of the coronavirus and all that, I was hoping he got that, actually. But it is what it is. Mm. I don't think being old means that you can get rid of what you've done, per se. Mm. And I don't have a doubt in my mind that he's, he's perverted and he has hurt women and stuff. But um, the law is the law. And if he has, so if there's something in the trial that needs to be looked at again, then, you know, of course, everyone deserves a chance to be able to do that. Mm. Does that mean that he would... Because from what I'm reading, especially the comments I'm getting from other like, um, will I say, law informatives, it's, it's not really that he'll become innocent at the end of it. I think it's to reduce, reduce the sentence yeah. and also... Or even have another trial all over again. I don't think that's happening. Um, because yeah, the, the, It happens the, as well. When but I don't think that's years. what this is about. It's possible. Either way, it's, um, it's, I, I think he can bring it on again. But like I said, he's perverted and they'll still find the loop. Because mm -hmm. even when he got sentenced, it was because he had they had really strong evidence of his semen and something else. Um, mm -hmm. So I don't know how you can undo that. So I don't see how, like, he's going to go away innocent with this. But if there was something else in the trial that maybe was exaggerated, because that can happen when somebody comes out to say that he's a rapist, especially someone with in that type, someone someone comes out rather to say that a, a high celebrity has accused them. It is very easy to attach clout chasers to that um, particular person. I'm not saying that he's innocent and every woman was lying, but you know, it's easy to have that. So if they're questioning that, maybe to reduce his sentence or whatever, then sure, I mean, I'm not asking, I, I don't wish the man a condemned life, but he should pay the price for the rape that he has done, not, not anything else. Of all the um, points that led to them <sighs> wanting to revisit the trial, I think the one that could be played to his um, advantage has to be the part where um, they said he had a deal to not be prosecuted. So mm. if that can be proven, and especially 
and they mm. agreed and had a deal and you promised that if he whatever the deal was to do this or yeah, that I they, um then mm. i think that's the one that i i feel like personally could play to his advantage mm. but having five people testify against him if <laughs> if they've all if they've all been violated why shouldn't they testify mm. i mean i'm looking at it from a layman's angle i'm not a lawyer but yeah. that's the part i feel um they can actually play um strong on mm. america's granddad but um, at the end of the day, he also agreed to the drug and the ladies because he was mm -hmm. he admitted to kill her. Though, was and he's almost three years thing. already now. It's three yeah. to ten years sentence. You just have this thing complete. I'm, I'm no, but I'm just worried about his health. I'm just hoping things he, are... Has he caused COVID-19 now? Well, no. not yet, but not, it's are you COVID, sending it to COVID. You go catch COVID nineteen outside. Anybody can, now. like people that but have not people that have freedom, like people that have not raped really. women are catching COVID nineteen. Do you get what I mean? Really like, fact. what's the Please. worst thing that can happen if it? I was trying to be a lawyer for you, uh, <laughs> American dad. <laughs> you have to choose another. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot <laughs> of sympathy can. that comes to Bill Cosby because of what he represents for the black mm. community. Yeah. And we really fell our hands down. But a rapist is a rapist. I can't forget that. I'm sorry. I think he was. Aside the hand falling, it's not just the painful. I think when he went in, yes. It was painful until I'm trying to remember the case now where he spoke and was so out of line mm. um, about another accused um, Harvey. rapist. Harvey, when, yeah, Harvey, yeah, that, yeah, that, that just made me feel, that. you know, yeah, yeah this, and that this made this us feel like it itchy. was guilty. Yeah, yeah, and you know, no, you don't even more using the word if I used, it made me feel he is really perverted. So mm. I'm done feeling pity for him. But it's, the three years is almost complete, only like 12 months or so. So you should just because I know. They are not going to wait for him to do 10 years complete. Mm -hmm. That's why they tell you it's 3 to 10 years. What's the meaning of 3 to 10 years exactly? Is it 4? Is it 5? Is it 3? So they are definitely There's a lot of play. numbers between 3 and I mean, 10. What's, what's 3 to <laughs> that makes sense. 3 to 10 three. years means he can get out in 3 years. Yeah, that's what I'm behavior. saying. So the way they're playing it, they probably want him out in 3 years. Mm -hmm. And that's the Obviously, game they're playing. we all know he's going to be out in 3 years. So yeah, why are they adding the ten at the back to make it feel like he's he got one serious sentence? Mm. It is a serious three years. Can you spend three years in your own house without can going I out? Start from asking if I raped someone. If, if I can rape someone. And ask ask about the rapist that has to live with that for the rest of her life, mm -hmm. prison or not. It's really messed up. <laughs> Bill, you're actually losing, but not me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next story before we bring on our guests. Nigerians don't produce better movies than Ghanaians. This is Ghanaians. This is coming from actor turned politician John Dumelo. Speaking on CCTV's Face to Face, Dumelo said, and I quote, due to their population there in this contest is mm -hmm. Nigeria, naturally they would have, they would have pro movie producers. They'll have more producers than us, but in terms of quality of films, in terms of delivery, storyline, we are at spa. End of quotes. Mm. I'm so over this population <laughs> crap. I hear it all the time, and that's not how things work. Fact just because, though. just no, it's not actually no, how things. Based work. on how he put it, said more producers. I mean, that that, that makes sense productions. actually because. We have fact only. See, but, we are like but, no, because million. you we have we counted ourselves because, anyway. But let's say two hundred million, and, and they are like twenty something. Uh, uh, that's like they are just like Lagos states. I disagree. Um, look at the comparison between Sweden um, no, um, industry and Hollywood, for example. Mm -hmm. Every time when it comes to Grammy nominees, they always tackle between both of them. Sweden is very very tiny, and mm -hmm. they don't produce that many movies. But when they produce, you listen, you switch up everything you're doing, and you watch that movie without seriousness. And when you're done, you clap for them and take it. You, I think you're mixing what you say. Your heart he in regards to having more producers, because we have the population playing in our favor, it's just normal for us to have more movie producers. But when he now got to the part where he's talking about quality. Um, content, quality of music, he's saying we are at par. He's not using the population to right. make an because excuse. Yeah. I, was, I thought he was directing population and, and, no, and quality no, no, together. No. You can have... 200 million people that are talentless in making movies, and oh, that, that can happen. So, yeah. so do you think Hollywood... Um, Gollywood. Gollywood. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that what it's called? Gollywood. Sounds like Gollywood. <laughs> Gollywood. Oh, wow. Okay. Gollywood. Well, um, you know, the time we had this conversation and I said Gollywood as well. No, she said Gollywood and I felt this way. Yeah. Really, so I get it. But do you think they produce better movies? Okay, they say at par. Okay, do you think we're at par? I don't think so. I think um, Nigeria Nigerians do better at churning out stories that are a lot different. Um, there's some stories that do well better than others, but I think we do a lot of more, a lot more diversified type of movies than they do. Um, every time I watch um, Ghanaian movies, it's in the, it's beautiful. It actually is not bad. They're good 
what's the word? Worthy contenders. Um, and I think I think <laughs> well, I thought, I thought, I they, and, do, I thought um, they do Gantz. better. I heard do. I do better in uh, the porn industry. Yeah, the porn industry. I just actually. knew that was where you were going. <laughs> what I know from the normal Gollywood industry, normal, normal one, it's, not the extra spicy they are all one, in the same space. not the it's freaky freaky one. <laughs> <laughs> the normal one freaky is that they're very indigenous to their culture. And I think that that's really beautiful. Like, their stories are very Ghanaian. Their dialogue is very Ghanaian. Sometimes I watch Nigerian movies. Like, um, what's that one? The, I keep forgetting the name, where they were sacrificing people. It was supposed to be this ebotic. No, sorry. Um, Living in Bondage. Living in Bondage. It was supposed to be this ebotic cultural thing from the village. And this guy was saying lines that are like, crazy western like things like catchphrases that western people use and it felt off to me you never find that type of mistake with Ghanaians, but um that's the only thing i can credit them for i don't think they tune out a lot of diversity like i think you know. nigeria i mean responding to what you have just said nigeria we have a lot more diversification yeah. okay. and yeah. when you're playing around that which is where the population comes to play i think mm. how many languages do we speak mm. um approximately let me just leave it at 300 because mm. i know it's between 250 and 300 so yeah. because i don't know the specific figure now approximately don't, yeah. uh, 250 300 and sense, you yeah. are looking at selling mm. you want to be able to i mean we've chosen one language as our general language and that's english the next one that is catching up now is pg mm. and people are getting to actually use it in movies and in um, our newscasting and all, we are getting to report things with pigeon. But I mean, what we all understand is English and that's the communication. So you wouldn't blame the producers when they try to carry everyone along in mm. that sense. Because if you decide to do just Igbo movies, they think that once that happens, then you're limiting your market already. Mm. A market that is already limited, not, be not because you don't have the population, but because you don't have the distribution mechanism mm. to actually push your content. So um, the little mechanism they have, they want to maximize it. But then um, I think we also have indigenous movies because Africa Magic Igbo, yeah, they are doing a lot. There's also the Igbo industry, there's the Yoruba industry, there's Aosa. So I think we're basing our focus on people that are and creating content for languages. general, mm. um, everybody, Nigerians, basically. <clears throat> All right, so if you ask me, um, John DeMello is not so far from the truth. But like you said, it's also arguable in the sense that originality is something that they are constant with over there. Mm. They are very original and very mm -hmm. indigenous. Mm -hmm. Secondly, um, they also tend to use their culture. We, they use our, their cultural A lot, yeah. space. You know, they, they, they put it there. Mm. You, you can tell. You can't take it away. But you see some of our Nigerian actors that they start to sound like Denzel Washington. And I'm wondering, like, am I watching a Hollywood movie and all of that? So... I think we should do better in that space. But mm. like you said, we have spaces for all that. But the ones that go out to the pub, the ones that get on Netflix, the mm. one I think we should try a little bit harder to be more indigenous because we just we're trying, we're we're trying to there. promote our culture. Have you seen any Ghana movie on Netflix? I believe there should have be. You I seen? haven't, but I have believe there seen? should I be. Okay. But I'm sure we there should We have a guess. Be. Tea time will continue right after this break. And I think we'll have to carry on this conversation to another episode. But we'll be right back. Hmm. Thank you.